Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive helpful tips on how to relieve pain. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. Hello everyone. Welcome, this is Dr. Jacobs. In this video, I'm gonna answer an important question. Do I have selenium deficiency? But before I get to the answer, we want important points, like the relationship between selenium and thyroid gland, and then I will answer the question, do I have selenium deficiency? And what you should do if you have selenium deficiency? What is the best source of selenium in the food? And how much selenium you might need? So before we're talking about selenium, we really need to understand the thyroid gland and the effect on the body and the relationship between the thyroid gland and selenium to understand how significant the selenium to uh, the function of the thyroid gland and actually the function of the whole body. So the thyroid gland, the main function is to maintain all organ functions, like through controlling your metabolic rates, like breathing, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your cell production. It's basically all, all the cells in your body and all organs depending on the thyroid gland to have a normal speed. So when your thyroid gland hormones decrease, everything slow down. You start to have low blood pressure, low heart rate, and low metabolism, increasing weight. So another important function for the thyroid gland is converting food to energy. So you really need the thyroid gland or thyroid hormones to actually for fat and carbohydrate metabolism, for protein metabolism, which means if you don't have enough thyroid hormones, you will not be able to break down food. The other important function is it regulates your body temperature. So when you have hypothyroidism, or low selenium that's related to decreasing your thyroid hormone production, you probably will have uh, uh, cold hand and feet. And that's usually on the very late stages of deficiency. Lastly, you need the thyroid hormone or gland for your growth and development. And if the levels are low, that will cause delay in development and growth. So to summarize very quickly, the important and the relationship between selenium and the thyroid gland. So your thyroid gland producing hormone called T4. And the T4, you need the selenium actually to convert the T4 to T3. T3 is the active form of thyroid hormone that actually utilized by the whole body for metabolism, for uh, controlling uh, the speed of each organ function. So if you don't have enough selenium, your body is not going to convert T4 to T3, which actually will not affect every organ in your body. That shows you how significant the need of our body to have selenium. So another example, think about your T3 is like your battery that charged. If you have a normal T3 level, your battery charged in your phone, you're able to make phone calls, open apps. But when your T3 is low, it's like you running your phone on 5% of uh, battery. You're barely making phone calls. And that's decreased metabolism, decrease, uh, decrease your blood pressure, your heart rate, your growth, your development, converting your food to energy. So all of that depending on the T3. And T3 is depending on the selenium. So symptoms of selenium deficiency. Based on a lot of studies, you can see here, and I highlight it in red because it's extremely important. Uh, thyroid disease, of course, because you're not going to produce enough thyroid hormones. Arthritis, impaired immune function, muscle pain and wasting, depression, cognitive decline, and increase your risk of several type of cancer. So to sum it up, and I'm briefly going over the symptoms here because uh, the goal is to answer your question in this video. In other videos, I'm going to go into detail on a lot of these points. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notification about future uh, videos. So to sum it up, if your 
T, uh, selenium is low, your T3, your thyroid hormone is low, actually your metabolism is low. So you're really gonna uh, have hard time to lose weight and actually gain weight uh, very fast. So the other important part is your, when your selenium is low, your immune system is compromised. Your immune system, that's what defend you from viruses when that actually fight cancer cells. So if that's low, your immune system is compromised, you're more susceptible for infection and having the side effect of infection and also you increase your risk of having uh, cancer, several types of cancer actually. So I'm just gonna go over a quick uh, literature review and these, review, they, these guys actually reviewed a lot of studies and came up with this conclusion based on several studies. So what, what they have found that 200 MCG selenium, subject to receive the selenium supplements, had 37% lower cancer incidence, 50% lower cancer mortality, 63% lower prostate cancer, and 58% colorectal cancer, and 46% fewer lung cancer than placebo. So there is a lot of uh, evidence support uh, the, the relationship between uh, low, iod uh, low selenium and increase your risk of cancer, and also uh, taking uh, selenium supplements that actually improve your survival for, uh, for or your body to fight cancer. And cancer is a special topic to me because I'm a cancer survival twice, so I really look at a lot of study related to cancer and how to equip our immune system to fight before even it's too late to really uh, treat the cancer. So to sum the literature, this is a hard work of uh, uh, a lot of interns work in my team that find the studies that support these evidence. So uh, you can read it, pause this to really see the evidence, but briefly you can see the number of study for breast cancer, 16 study for um, gastro, uh, uh, for diabetic patient, there is six study and so on, so forth in this list. And you see rheumatoid arthritis, there's 14 study support that. Um, oro, oro immune thyroid disease, and that makes sense because if you're, you don't have enough selenium, your body gonna produce more T4 but cannot convert it to T3 and you will start, start to have oro immune disease uh, related to the thyroid hormone. So now we know the importance of selenium. Let's answer the question, do I have selenium deficiency? To, in order to answer that, I'm gonna go over three or maybe four actually, gonna go over four reasons that cause selenium deficiency. The more you will have these four in your life or applicable to you, the higher the chance you're gonna have selenium deficiency. So first, it's actually connected to the second one. The healthy body contain on average 13 to 30 milligram of selenium. So that's what's inside our body. You should have 13 to 30 milligram of selenium just to uh, just for healthy body. Okay, remember this is MG, okay? So the other problem we have is actually when we look at the selenium in the uh, in the, in, the, in the soil, the selenium is very low in the soil, and uh, the relationship, the, the selenium in the soil is important to the food, because if you don't have enough selenium in the soil, your food will not have selenium. As you see in this map, the very dark blue in these areas, they have really extreme deficiency. The soil has extreme deficiency in selenium. Then you start to have the purple, it's variable deficiency, but it's still some point really high deficiency in selenium. That's mean the food that grows in those areas does not have enough selenium. So the white part is adequate amount of selenium, and uh, that is a concerning because you don't know where your food coming from. So you don't know if you your food have enough selenium or not. And I will go over a few other things that 
uh, really uh, help us to understand why food could, could be hard to tell if you have enough selenium in that food or not. Based on the NIH, according to the U.S. Department of Ar Agriculture, food composition database, Bar Brazilian nuts have 544 MCG selenium per ounce but values from other analysis vary wildly. So when we look to the main source of selenium is actually Braz uh, Brazilian nuts. So that's actually the highest uh, food source for selenium. But the problem, even the NIH realizing that not all the nuts has the same amount of selenium because when we look back, if they are growing on this uh, blue area, they're not going to have selenium. If they are growing on the white areas that the soil has enough selenium, that Brazilian nuts will have selenium. So that is a main issue with the food. And when we connect this to the third reason, food source for selenium, let's look back here, 13 to 30 milligram. The selenium in the, the nuts, the Brazilian nuts, is 544 mcg. One milligram is equivalent to 1,000 mcg, so that's not even one milligram. But, and I put an explanation mark here because this is statement, and actually when we look at several study, the Brazilian nuts, it's not the same. It depends on the soil. So if you don't know where the Brazilian nuts coming from, you're really gambling if you're getting enough selenium or you're not getting any selenium or not enough. So that's what put us on a really bad spot of not able to get enough selenium from the food. And let's look to the list of the, the, the rest of the list of the food source for selenium. So tuna, halibut, uh, ham, shrimp, you can see the amount of selenium in those food. Definitely tuna has a kind of high selenium, but I personally do not eat seafood, period, because it's high in mercury, it has radiation, it has lead. There's a lot of health issue related to eating those big fish that I refer not to actually get to eat those food and get my selenium actually from supplements to make sure that I'm not getting the mercury from the tuna, I'm not getting uh, lead or radiation actually from those um, seafood. So a good source is sardine, but sardine is still 40, 45 mcg. And remember here, the benefit of uh, decreasing the risk of cancer is actually at least 200 mcg selenium. By the way, there's a lot, several forms of selenium, they're not all the same, that has effect uh, for helping your body to decrease your risk of cancer. I will go over that in future video, um, but you cannot even take the selenium by itself, and I will go over that in a little bit why. So. So uh, the fourth reason that really could deplete your level of selenium in your body is having or taking some of these drugs for a very long time. So if you are drinking alcohol, that will deplete your selenium. And I consider it as part of, uh, of this list because it has a lot of side effect uh, on the body. So. NSAIDs that's been used really, I personally could, used to use it uh, as a candy. After my cancer treatment, I had a lot of pain. I used to take NSAIDs almost every day and that's deplete your selenium level. So if you're not taking selenium supplements and you're not eating Brazilian nuts and you, which are you gambling of if it's have enough selenium or not, you're really depleting the selenium that's in your system to the deficient knee level that will actually could increase your risk of cancer and decrease your metabolism and so on in the list that I mentioned before. So I'm going to highlight a common uh, drugs because uh, especially when you take those drugs for a very long time, that's increase your odd of having deficiency. 
Cholesterol medication, statin, that will decrease your selenium deficiency, which means when selenium is low, you, that's increase your risk of cancer. Your selenium is low, that's increase your risk of having infections and uh, your immune system is compromised. Oboids does the same thing. All oral contraception, co contraceptives, they actually cause uh, selenium deficiency. And even the thyroid medication and the steroid and estrogen. So if you're taking any of these medications, uh, if you decide to take a selenium supplement, you have to really take it in separate time. And I recommend you consult your doctor because a lot of these medication is actually interact with the selenium, which is cause selenium deficiency. Some doctors are aware of the importance of taking selenium. They might recommend take it four or five hours away from your drugs, but make sure if you're taking any of these drugs that uh, you have to take it for, uh, for your condition, uh, consult your doctor. So to summarize, food sources are not a reliable source of selenium. So we cannot depend on that because it's, it's, the soil is very, the level of selenium in the soil is very, even the NIH, they actually aware of that, that it's, uh, it's very widely because it's hard to tell which soil is the one has enough selenium and majority of the land in the United States and Canada, most of the world, uh, worldwide, it's deficient in selenium. That's a problem. Okay, so what is the solution? The solution is actually taking selenium supplements. So there's several types of selenium supplement. I will go over that in other videos. But one of the way to know if you have the potential of selenium deficiency and if you have combination of these four, that increase your risk of having selenium deficiency. One of the ways that you can take advantage of is Ask Aster. It's a free online, free medical uh, evaluation that actually help you to figure out, do you have selenium deficiency? Do you have any other nutrition, vitamins, deficiency, hormonal imbalance, and what you need to do to uh, take care of that. The evaluation usually take about five minutes and it's including in, this, in the software at least nine healthcare provider database. So it's an extremely comprehensive evaluation to guide you, to help you figure out uh, what you have deficiency with. Is it selenium? Is it something else? And it's very typical to have more than one thing deficient at the same time. So uh, take advantage of that. And uh, if you have any question or comment, uh, put it in the in the comment section below and I will see you soon in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive helpful tips on how to relieve pain. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below or go to asterinstitute.com.